put the metal to the pedal. The metal to the pedal. I think you mean put the pedal to the metal. Put the pedal to the metal. Welcome to Australia, everybody. We have landed from our big trip overseas. We've arrived in Australia after being on the road for a year. We started with six months touring New Zealand in our tiny house bus and had the time of our lives. <laughs> After spinal surgery for Zach in London, we chased the best therapy and fun in America, Iceland, Canada, England, Canary Islands, Thailand and Malaysia. Yeah, it feels kind of courageous. How are you going, buddy? Travelling with two champions with cerebral palsy has had its difficult moments. But as a family, we've decided that we aren't going to let labels hold us back and together we can brave the world. Right, wow! So we've been a little bit quiet online and I'm sure you can understand. Um, I, in my eternal optimism, didn't actually imagine how we'd feel after this trip. And I think from about Canada onwards, we both were feeling pretty wasted and it just felt like a bit of a whirlwind. I mean, it's so nice to be back in Australia and seeing family and friends. We're feeling a little bit unsettled. You know, it's hard to, to settle into a new country. Hey, what do you like about Australia? Mm, I, 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 I like... I like... I like I love, I love the buggies. You love the buggy golf buggies. Yeah. And I love and I and I and I love the kitchen. You love the kitchen. So for those who follow our story, we've been living in New Zealand for six years, and when we made the decision to do Zach's surgery, part of the decision was that we would need a season in Australia because there's not any post rehab experience in um, what Zach has had. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a fun kitchen we have here. So, and I also love the playroom. And you love the playroom. And me. Hmm. I'm going to the shops with you. You like going to the shops with me? Oh, that's nice. And we're trying to fall in love with Australia again. That's the truth. I mean, you know, we're super grateful. Look at this amazing environment we're in. We're trying to get out and do some adventures, but. We haven't been able to because both the boys have been in hospital since we've been in Australia. So it is our second day back in Australia and River and I are completing our world tour of hospitals internationally by coming to the Lady Sinatra <coughs> Hospital in Brisbane. Why are we here, River? <coughs> That's right, because we've got another dose of pneumonia. Who are we going to go visit, River? Zachy, and where's Zachy? At the hospital, I know, so. Zach has been having recurrent fevers since Asia, so on and off fevers, and um, he's been you know, pretty sick, but then he gets really better, so we've been a bit relaxed. We've today. taken him to our um, pediatrician and general doctor, and they've done tests, and nothing has come back. So Zach's actually fine, like he got better yesterday, but they're just being really cautious. So our plan today is for River and I, we're gonna go in, and visit Zaki. Um, maybe Jess, um, give Jess a little bit of a break because she was up most of the night doing tests with the doctors. And yeah, maybe we'll have some fun in Brisbane. Hey Zaki, how was your x ray? Right. What did they, they just, do? They took a photo of my pen and then I got to see the photo. They showed it to you. What did it look like? This. It was the inside. It was in my chin. It was inside your chin. It's wow, a, it's a bracelet. Yeah. What's on your arm? A line. A line. What do they do with the line? They make sure the blood and the blood stickers underneath. See. Ah. Where are you up to, Zaki? Um, to get an ultrasound. To get an ultrasound. That's going to be fun. Good. How was your ultrasound? Despite having some unusual fevers, Zach is feeling fine. And ultrasounds, blood tests and x-rays are par for the course. Our boys are used to them. I feel better, you know I do. Day three of our hospital stay. Next feeling 
pretty normal, which is good, but we'll just see what the results of all the tests show. Hopefully they give us a good plan. And then we can get back to house hunting because we need to find a house. One of the first things that we've done trying to come back to Aussie is set up a bit of a home therapy program. We currently don't have a house or a car, but we haven't got any of that set up. So one of the first things we have tried to do is actually just at least create a bit of a good home environment. I'm trying to set up a home program and today's day one. So we kind of um, started slow, but we've, Tim's done some good standing with the boys so far. Now we're doing some uh, fine motor stuff. What are you doing there, Zachy? I found it. Oh, oh, which one is that one? Is that... Go. One, two, three, push. That's it, push it. Whoa, whoa, slam dunk. Up, 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 push, push, push. Yo! I'll tell you what you have to do, okay? You have to stand up, wait till I say go. But you're gonna stand up and you're gonna come along here, along the obstacle course, bring your man up here and then your man's gonna jump into the pool, okay? That sounds pretty hard. We also want home therapy to be all play-based and actually just be functional and in our normal life, um, which takes a lot of creative thought. i um, always trying to think about how to incorporate that. What are you guys doing here? Mm. Who are you looking at, Turkey? Mm. It's really tricky to do home therapy and it's something that Tim and I are always sort of talking about. And a, a while ago, we made a decision that we want to bring in outside people into our home to help with some of the therapy um, because we just want to be the parent not the therapist. Not the therapist. Put your mouth to the pedal. Hello to the middle. Right up, Vancouver, okay? Watch out! Super honestly, you know, sharing your life on a vlog um, is sometimes weird in these stages because we're in a real transition. Um, we are getting into a new health service, getting into a new disability service. We've been deciding for a long time where to live. We just love nature, don't love big cities. The big cities have great services. In all honesty, I've been struggling a little bit, pretty stressed, overwhelmed with all the um, admin required to set up this new life, but not having any care or support. So Jess hasn't been the only one feeling it. This has to be one of the hardest transitions we've both had but my hat goes off to her. Amongst the chaos of establishing life in a new country, she has also been pushing against the bureaucracy to get River and Zach access to the great therapies and interventions that Australia has on offer. And if that wasn't enough, she has also been working with our friends in America to establish an online course, enabling parents on a similar journey to learn some of the incredible tools that we've come across in our travels. But more about that later. I think one thing, you know, when you're in times of transition, it's something that Tim and I try to do. I'm probably not that good at it, but you, we find you find other good things to carry you through. So we've both been um, trying to do some of our own um, physical health, just every day get out there and um, practice more gratefulness and mindfulness, just when all the big stuff isn't sorted out. Oh my God, we are a seagull shot. And you just beg to see no, no, me. No, let's take your hand, my dear, and place them oh. both in mine. That's kind of adult, Papa. I want my dog to be in the video too. Do you? Maybe I can look down and he can look at the camera. Okay, well, you look out the window and he can look at the camera. Then no, you can look. <laughs> can't see your face, buddy. <laughs> You stopped me dead when I was passing by. That's also a adult word. 
So what is next for us guys? This is something we've been thinking about and I feel like it's only just come to us in a really more cohesive way. Um, and with the vlog and with the boys and I've got a really big idea and it's really exciting called The Possible Project. But we're not gonna tell you about it now because we're gonna make a video about it because that's what, that's what you do, Tim. <laughs> so we'll share that with you soon, probably in the next couple of weeks or yeah, so, but yeah. watch this space. Watch this space. What else have we been up to, Tim? I've got an idea. Fun montage. <laughs> Everyone loves a fun montage. What? finish this vlog by actually doing a real shout out of gratitude um, for those that have come with us around the world and those that have come with us from the beginning of the bus trip and been involved in our all the different things including our chuff campaign and becoming our patron and just giving us words of encouragement and just coming along we just wanted to say thank you mm. this trip has really felt like we have not been alone and there's been times that have been really challenging and been incredibly amazing. We didn't do it alone because I don't think, I mean, we can't do it alone. <laughs> no. And we've really felt like we have had so many of you standing with us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I looked the other day, we've had over 3,500 comments on our YouTube channel over the last year. And those comments have helped spur us on in those t tough times. So. Yeah, and in Facebook and Patreon and um, emails. We actually, I get a lot of private messages. Sometimes, you know, you can look at the world and the world can seem really negative and fearful. And when I watch the news, that's how I feel. So I try not to watch it too often. But our experience of mm. the world is that there are so many good people out there. And we're just so grateful for the gifts that get offered up to us and for the gift that our boys can offer up to us and that we can share glimpses of that with you guys. So thanks for being on the journey mm. and- um, It means so much. What do you reckon, Zaki? It's pretty amazing at this beach. 